Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ups for Downs, Roaring 21's virtual celebration and fundraiser. We're so excited to have you joining us tonight. I'm Sky. I'll be your host again this year. I was the host last year, so this is my second year doing the virtual. Before that, I had been to uh, three or four dinner dances and had a blast, and I know next year we're all going to be on the dance floor together. We have a lot of fun planned for you tonight, but first, we are going to have a little fun and get everyone in the spirit of the night. And we're going to have my husband come in, my favorite bartender. He's going to come in and make a drink that we're calling the Gatsby. We had to tear the recipe out of Mike Greenwald's hands. You know it's good. And it is a favorite as well. So I see uh, Tony is here. I'm going to mute myself and introduce him. Go ahead, Tony. Thank you, Sky, so much. And I am actually going to hand my phone over to you my beautiful host. Hello, everyone, <laughs> and welcome, as Sky said, to the Roaring 21s. We were so hoping to be dancing with all of you this year. It isn't happening quite yet, but we're counting on next year. So, as Sky mentioned, we're going to make the Gatsby. Now, folks, this drink packs a bit of a punch. I'm not going to lie. Have one, have two. Don't have too many, though. We have a dance party coming up at the end of the night. We want you ready to go when this happens. All right, so if you want to do something that's a little softer and a little sweeter, then you can use the sweet and sour and vodka, two parts sweet and sour, one part vodka to make a lemon drop. That is your host's favorite drink, by the way. We've done one of those right here. But for now, let's do the Gatsby. Most important part, or at least the most important first part. We want to rim the glass with sugar, right? Super easy to do. You can use water, you can use a lemon, you can use a lime, you can use an orange, whatever you'd like. Wet the rim of the glass, and then you're going to turn it over. You can use the sugar in your kitchen. Nice and easy. Put the sugar on the rim of the glass. We're a little fancy here. We use the lemon drop martini rimmer. Fancy yellow sugar is what that means. All right, so let's get started. As you can see, I've got my ice in my shaker already. This recipe calls for you to stir the ingredients with ice. More of a James Bond guy myself. So we're going to use the shaker. Let's get started. The most important ingredient in virtually any drink I make is the vodka. So we're going to do two shots of vodka for this. All righty. Do two shots of triple sec. I told you this thing packs a punch. Then we're going to tart tart it up a little bit. We've got the lemon juice. We're going to do about a half a <laughs> shot of the lemon juice. You're a tart. Tart. <laughs> <laughs> then we are going to give this a little bit of sweet, just a little bit though. We're going to do just a quarter shot of the, of the uh, sweet and sour mix in there. Little more sweetness and a little bit of fizz. We're going to use some Sprite. And there you go. Those are the ingredients. Take your shaker, shake it up. You want to give it a good shake because you really want the ice to take hold and give it, make it nice and cold. You are not going to have ice in your glass. This is what's making it cold. Strain it out. And as I mentioned, you can see the color difference there between the lemon drop and the Gatsby. Be nice and clear. This is my kind of drink, vodka based. Cheers, everybody. And I'm now going to turn it over to your hostess with the mostest, Sky Capriola, for the rest of the evening. Sky, take it away. All right. Well, I got to take my drink with me first. Hold on. Okay. All right. I think I'm back. <laughs> Thank you, Tony, very much. Cheers to everyone at home. Uh, if you haven't gotten your ups for downs martini glass, you can still do that while uh, the supplies last and that'll be on the website, which is what we're going to get to right now. Uh, before we go there, though, I do want to mention that uh, the dinner dance committee is already looking at themes for next year and we would love to see in the chat for you guys to go ahead and put your ideas. And then later in the show, we're gonna have a poll and vote on everyone's favorite idea. Now I can't guarantee that that's the one that's gonna get used next year, but it will definitely give all of us something to think about. All right, so let's take a look at some business now. We're here to make money. We're here to fundraise for this wonderful organization, Ups for Downs. So how do you do that? You need to go to roaring21s.givesmart.com uh, and there you can go ahead and get 50-50 raffle tickets. You can bid on auction items. There are 75 auction items. And by the way, number 53, I called it the Roaring Lemon Drop, but it is all the ingredients you need to make the Gatsby, uh, including glasses and the um, top secret recipe. 
not quite a secret anymore. Sorry, Mike. Um, we also have merchandise available. We have tumblers, playing cards. Uh, like I said, we've got the uh, martini glasses and the t-shirts. I'm wearing one. It's really cool. The women's is a v-neck with a, uh, um, a woman's cut. So it's really comfortable, uh, very soft. I highly recommend that you get them while supplies last. Okay. So we have so much great content tonight. We people send us things that are just wonderful and we're here to share them with you. So uh, first of all, we're gonna start off with um, Allison. She is a successful business owner. And then we're gonna go into a video of Clarky who loves to play soccer and actually I get to play with him uh, on Saturday. So let's go ahead and meet Allison and Clarky. I roar my 21s whenever I'm on TV. I am Pucky. I uh, play soccer. Every Saturday we play soccer for about two and a half hours. So we have lots of friends that we come and we play soccer with. And Clarky has always enjoyed it. He always scores lots of goals. Clarky, how Ooh. many goals do you like to score? Ten goals. Are you ready to score some goals? I'm ready. Goals. Go Clarky! Woo! He makes me really happy to play with him. He, yeah, it's always a, like a really fun time to play with him. Head up! All the way, all the way. That's right, buddy. Love playing with Clarky. He's got so much energy and so much fun to play with. Just the joy he brings. That's why I come out every Saturday. Clarky is a phenomenal player and uh, we have a lot of joy just playing with them. Still in. Still in. Turn around. It's awesome. And plus it gets him out with people in the community. And it's a good experience, not just for him, but for all of us. Ten. Every Saturday, we're all out there together playing soccer. Tomorrow will be no different, even though it's only going to be 48 degrees. <laughs> all right, we're also going to check in live with the Raymonds coming up in just a few minutes. But first, again, a little bit of business. Go to roaring21s.givesmart.com to make those donations, the raffle tickets, bidding on auction items, and just making a straight donation. Uh, what we recommend is that you do it on your phone or tablet and then watch us on your computer or your TV so you don't lose out our live feed. We also have a Spotify playlist. If you go to Spotify and search UFD Roaring 21s, you're going to find 29 songs, almost two hours of fun music that you can get behind and dance to. All right, what do we got coming up? Oh, we have scholarship videos. So every year, Ups for Downs donates scholarships to several uh, people that are involved in the community here. And we have the first one uh, to show you right now, and it's Alana Her. So let's let her take it away right now. My name is Alana Hur, and I'm the winner of the Ups for Downs Siblings Scholarship. First of all, I want to thank Ups for Downs for giving me this amazing scholarship. However, this is just one of the many things that they've given me over the past decade or so. I've been involved in many Ups for Downs programs, but the one that has had the greatest effect on me and that I enjoyed the most was participating in the play. I started acting in the play when I was in middle school, and I was definitely much more shy than I am now, and I was very much afraid to try new things and meet new people. However, by signing up for this activity in which I knew almost no one, I was forced to gradually come out of my shell by talking to new people and getting up on a stage to perform. Of course, it helped that everyone was super nice and that I was able to make some friends. 
From this experience, I gained a little bit more confidence in myself, um, but also a better understanding of inclusion and what that word really means. So I want to thank Ups for Downs not only for this scholarship, but for the great experiences and the great memories from the past few years. Thank you so much to Alana for sending us that video. We are glad that you're using your scholarship well. All right, we're gonna check in with our first live party pod, I believe we're gonna to go to the Raymonds, um, but I don't see them popping up quite yet. Oh, wait, I think I see my friend Clarkie. Uh, they need to unmute as well when they join me just so that they remember of that. There's Patty, right. hello. Unmute, unmute. You're good, we can hear you. Hi. <laughs> now I don't hear again though, but are you there? Clarky, say something. I am here. Oh, you are here, good. Hey, let's get something out of the way right away. Um, it's someone special's birthday, I believe, correct? It's Big Clark's birthday. Happy birthday. Patty, step in and, and tell me about who's at your party. Who's at the party? Who? Okay, who's here? Dan. Dan? 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 Thank you, Sky. Yes, you look awesome, Clarky. Hey, Patty, can I ask you a question, please? Come on in the camera. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, tell us what Ups for Downs means to you and why people should be donating tonight. Ups for Downs means family, it means support, it means love, it means um, a future for our children. And it's community more than anything else. It's wonderful community and it's wonderful, wonderful support. It's just an awesome organization and whatever you can do, open up your wallets, you know, whatever you, you can afford to do, please give. Thank you so much. I give a cheers to you guys. Cheers. Cheers. We're, we plan to stop by after the broadcast. So save us a, a drink, okay? Yeah. All right, Clarky, anything you want to say? Anything else you want to add? Um, my, uh, I did, um, it's, it's my, it's my pool. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his new house. <laughs> well, you have a very nice new pool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Oh, it's so nice when we get to get get together in those small groups. We're going to be getting in big groups before we know it. I had the pleasure, and it was an absolute pleasure, to meet several self-advocates uh, over Zoom chats the last couple weeks and put together videos of them. So I would like to introduce the first one. Uh, it is Brett Wilkinson, and you'll also meet his parents. So go ahead, Brett, take it away. Hi, I'm Brett Wilkinson. I am 22 years old. Tell me the activities you like that Ups for Downs does. You know what? For activities, for a team scene, pool part, party, um, hang out with friends a lot, to hang can out, have fun, and then uh, pictures, like photos. Okay. And then they, they their dance. And also, <laughs> I'm a officially Catholic. This is my photo. Awesome. So that was a dinner dance uh, theme one year? Yes. The chick one is right here. Nice. Theme. Tell me some hobbies that you do. What do you, what do you like to do in your free time? All right. So my free time hobbies are swimming, mm -hmm. dance, parties, um, disc golf. Disc golf? Like yeah. frisbee golf? Nice. Uh, like, you could throw way over here. It was way far. I watch TV. Okay, what kind of TV do you like? 
I watch um, Cobra Kai. All right. What are your plans for the future? What do you want to do in the next couple of years? Okay. What? So I'm doing Hopper College next year. And then, let's see. Oh, and also, um, I work at Portillo's. Oh, nice. What do you do at Portillo's? I, I did um, clean tables, empty garbage, and sweep floor. What's your dream job? I would say be on TV. Oh, nice. What do you want to do on TV? You know what? I want to be on show on Cobra Kai. Actually. Can you show me some karate moves with your hands? No, what? No, what? This, this is cool because we use bow, do this, do the crazy stuff. Sandy and Dave, tell me what ups for downs means for you. Started off with amazing support right from day one. Brett had uh, health issues, under, a, a understanding what Down syndrome is, uh, understanding how to interpret and, and make your way through the maze of doctors and health issues and things that come along. I would add to that and say ups and downs is our extended family. And um, to really understand what the potential was with people with Down syndrome at a young age. And to know that we had that support and the confidence of the people who took the steps before us. Brett was the first person with Down syndrome to go to Buffalo Grove High School, along with one other student the same year. Yeah. And then crowned homecoming king four years later, so. Well, now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't wait to see everyone in person next year and have a real full go dinner dance. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, two years. Actually, it'll be three years probably by the time we see each other again. And what? I'll see you in dinner dance next year in person. We'll see if it's crossed, we're hoping. You can go to the Ups for Downs uh, YouTube account and see all of these videos. So never fear, they're out there to watch. But it was great to meet the Wilkinsons and talk to them again. Um, I actually interviewed them live last year, so I've met them before, but it was always nice to talk to them. All right, we're going to our second party pod. It's the Renegers house. How you doing, Lisa? Unmute. Hey! Unmute. Hello! Um, you all look very dapper. Thank you. I don't know, but I feel like I'm the only one on screen. You guys come out on the <laughs> <laughs> Who all do you have with you at your house today? Yeah, um, this is my mom. This is my dad. This is my nanny. And my brother, Adam. My, my Uncle Brad and my Auntie Tracy. Wow, <laughs> Allie, you're really good at remembering everybody. That's awesome. Allie, tell me, you're, you're a self-advocate on the board of Ups for Downs. Why is that important to you? I like being on the board of Ups for Downs because I think it's important to have self-advocates helping the board understand what is important to individuals with Down syndrome. So, what is your favorite part of being uh, in this group? What do you like about it? Um, I, I love my friends and the clubs that I'm in. I'm in the theater program and I, I'm also in a give back club. Walking club. And walking club. Healthy living club. Healthy living. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Allie, your whole family is very involved, right? What all does your mom do? You lead the walking club. Yeah, yeah. I lead the party or at least participate greatly. And we're celebrating with Nani because uh she just had her 87th birthday. Awesome. <laughs> Happy belated birthday. I guess we picked the best houses to, to celebrate at today. Yeah. Yeah, we step aside yeah. for like, you got to see what Tracy did to my house. <laughs> we got the big 21 going on up there. Awesome. <laughs> Keep it up for the rest of the year. You won't have to decorate for, hot, for New Year's. You can just get a two balloon to match it. All right. I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. Do you have a message out there? Anybody who's watching, do you have a message out there for people who want to donate or why, why should people donate tonight? Why is it important? If you donate tonight, 
you will hear us roar so loud. <laughs> <laughs> we will love you as a family forever. <laughs> That's a really nice message. Thank you so much. I love your pearls. I went with pearls today too, Allie. <laughs> Please donate. We have lots of programs, but they Please. couldn't happen without you guys out there. So thank you. Ups for Downs is a wonderful organization, and we appreciate your support. <laughs> Sounds wonderful. And it could be $5, it could be $50, but everything goes towards the organization and the program. So it's awesome. Yeah, thank All you. right. Thank you, Renegers. We appreciated you uh, being a live pod. And uh, all right, we're back to doing some um, video content. This time we've got a fan favorite from last year, Maggie, that uh, is gonna razzle and dazzle us. And following that, the Ford family made a really fun silent film. The Ford family, that's a fun family, I tell you. They should uh, raffle off a weekend with them, make a silent film. Who knows what else they do, but good good job. Okay, so we have a couple more scholarship winners that sent in videos. You just saw David Ford uh, in that last silent film, so you're going to hear from him, followed by Mira Spaziri. So let's hear from them now. I'm David Ford, and thank you, Upstreet Downs. Uh, I've been with you here my entire life, uh, and I can only say that it's been a great experience. Uh, because of my brother's Down syndrome, my family and I have just been a part of Officer Downs uh, ever since I was born. Uh, doing theater, doing the marathon, doing the gym, all this stuff has been great, uh, great fun. has really informed uh, the person that I have become. Thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Miris Vaziri and this is my sister Sophia. I wanted to say thank you to Ups for Downs for awarding me the Tiffany Diamond Memorial Scholarship. It's helping me on my journey to become an OT to help people like Sophia. And Ups for Downs has been in our family and helping us since Sophia was a little kid. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So thank you guys and I hope to make you proud and see you all in a few years as a doctor of occupational therapy. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, David and Mira, for sending those in. All right, well, we've got some things for you to look forward to in 2022. The first one is we're announcing Casino Night. Uh, we're going to supplement the fun of the Roaring 21s going into the Roaring 22s. Saturday, March 5th, put it on your calendar. Uh, anything goes. You can wear your flapper gown, you can wear your pajamas, whatever you want to do to gamble away the night and raise money for ups for downs. And then also looking forward a year out, save the date for October 21st, 2022, because that's when we're going to boogie on the dance floor. And remember, go ahead and put your ideas in for a theme. And I believe we are coming up on 759. That means you have less than a minute to go online and make a donation or buy a 50-50 raffle. So go do that right now. Uh, while you're doing that, you can listen to this great next video. Uh, Jack Ford was recently in The Music Man. And Terry asked the uh, Barbershop Quartet to sing Lie to Rose for us, but tweak the words a little bit. Take a listen. Ups for downs, I see you espouse that our people should belong. Ups for downs, I agree with your vow, that's the purpose of this song. Ding dong ding, I know that it's about time. Ding dong ding, it is my suggestion. Ups for downs, your work is profound, after that we all agree. Ups for downs, now everyone knows an extra chromosome can be. Just like a love song, not fancy or fine, Down syndrome is just a part of life. Ups for downs, oh, ups for downs, oh, ups for downs. That was so great. <laughs> During the rehearsal, I actually sang along, but I saved you all that. All right, let's take a look at our supporters right now. We appreciate everyone who has taken the time to go ahead and give. Uh, there's a couple different places you can do that on the website. On the left side, you see our flappers and fellas. They are uh, people that you can support individually. The money still goes to ups for downs, or you can just make, uh, in general, in-kind um, support. So we appreciate it. Again, if it's $5, if it's $50, if it's $500, whatever is in your budget is wonderful to us and we really appreciate it. There are a lot of couples in the Ups for Downs community and I had the pleasure of talking to one of them, uh, Christina and Jacob. So you're gonna hear from them and hear from their moms in this next video. Mm -hmm. Chica. I have a thing, no? <laughs> mm, couple years, 15 years. What do you like to do together? Mm, out, mm, 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 couple of dates, comment, mm, calls, and mm, texts. Okay. Mm, mm, eat, too. You like to go out to eat? Yeah. What's your favorite restaurant to go to? Mm. Mm, my favorite mm, 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 buffalo wild wings. Oh, Christina, do you like that too? Yes, I love it. <laughs> uh, Christina, what is your perfect date? We do all the romantic dinners and then go to downtown. Oh, you like to go down into the city of Chicago? Yes. So you spend several days a week together? Yeah. We like to um, go to see movies, swim. At our friend's house, hang out with friends and plus be together.
<laughs> Moms, tell us how you coordinate uh, the schedule so that they, you know, have this relationship. Well, obviously with COVID, it's been a little bit different. We've been doing more, you know, seeing friends and going places more to each other's houses than anything, not so much as restaurants and movies like we normally would do. It takes a good effort between mm -hmm. Marilyn and I, and it makes a difference that we enjoy each other's company, that we're willing to work with each other to, to make this work yes. for each other and for them because they want to be together. You know, Christina's almost 26 years old and to be able to have a boyfriend that's so handsome and caring and always looking out for her and checking in and he spoils her. He takes very good care of her. I have one of black. <laughs> 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 you know, if they're an adorable couple. They, they honestly are the they real like thing. They, they, yeah. yeah, they really do like It's very other. sweet. Yes. Yeah. 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 15 years. Yeah, 15 years. <laughs> they do a lot of dancing. They are uh, <laughs> really amazing dancers together. I, I'm one, she sent me a couple of videos in the past and I'm always like, oh my gosh. Are you guys gonna whoop it up on the dance floor next year at Ups for Downs dinner dance gala? <laughs> <laughs> They've been here the last few years. Yes, they are so, so. ready for in person. Bye. Good. See ya. Peace out. <laughs> thank you christina and jacob and your moms and now actually we're going to go to the casada household uh because they've been watching and they're our last party house Woo! <laughs> christina how are you doing Hello. Come on, everybody get up here. Hello. No, oh, not that close. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. <laughs> I see Jacob. Who else? Christina, who else is there today? Yep. <laughs> who else is here? Who else? Introduce everybody. I see a paradise. This is Dan and Danny. Danny or Danny? This is Nicole. This is the crazy bubble. Sam Shamanic. Sam Shamanic, come on forward, Landon. There's Sam Shamanic. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's so good to see you guys yeah. having fun. Are you enjoying the show? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet. I don't yep. Christina, I love yes. your Facebook page. You take lots of wonderful pictures of you and Jacob and your friends. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> Do you guys have any messages? Do you have a message for anybody watching out there today? Why should someone call in, not call in, but go to the website and donate? Raise any money. Because <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of programs we, we guys do, right? You guys do a yeah, lot of programs. We, we, yes, we have lots of our programs. We, right? we want you guys to donate is for, to, to support us for, for us as, as Down syndrome. That's wonderfully said, Nicole. I like it. Hey, yeah. is Marilyn available <laughs> to talk real quick? <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for Marilyn. So your Facebook every day this month you've put together think little things maybe not always known about Down syndrome. Why do you think it's important to educate everybody out there? Um, this has been my little soapbox for years actually <laughs> because I realized when Christina was born that I knew absolutely nothing about it. And what little bit I did know was pretty inaccurate. So I figured if I would just start reading it to other people, help her person, that would make a difference. Well, I have appreciated uh, seeing them every day. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anybody have anything else they want to say? We're having a roaring good time. Yeah. Cheers to that. All right, thank you, Casada Party Pod. And thank you for uh, sitting down with me on Zoom as well. I had a really nice conversation with everybody. All right, so 
every organization uh, cares a lot about their mission and belief statements. So let's take a look at that. That was really well done. Thank you for everyone who participated in that. I don't know if people realize how much work goes into putting into putting a show together like this, <laughs> but anyone who contributed uh, with submitting videos, we really, really appreciate it. So um, this is the last person that I got to meet in the last couple of weeks. His name is Nick Pesh. He is dashing and very fascinating, and I think you're going to love his video. So let's go ahead and roll it. Hello, my name is Nick C. Pets. How old are you? 24. 24. All right. Tell me what ups for downs means to you. My, my fam, fam, money gets to meet other fam, money's with kids with down down syndrome what activities do you like to do with ups for downs i like team scene i like the the adult social clubhouse but my my favorite is 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 the filler program I have performed in five five musicals and did tech crew for two my 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 super favorite was Spain Bird in Mary Poppins I I practiced really hard for that wall. What do you want to do in the next couple of years? I I have big plans. We are we are moving to Wins Wins Cousin at the the new house. Yeah. I will have my apartment. I want to work at Mars, then I went, I want to marry my, my girlfriend, Jamie, 
and live with her. Wow. What are some of the hobbies? What hobbies do you like to do? I, I like singing and dancing. I take singing and dancing lessons. I, I like, I like cooking. I play on a, a basketball and baseball team. I like to watch movies. I like to hang, hang out on off the lake and go to Bing. Bye. Thank you to uh, Nick for that. It was a great conversation. So just a reminder that we have a Spotify playlist put together. Uh, it's you go to search UFD Roaring 21s. There you go. 29 songs, uh, almost two hours worth of content. So that's awesome. We hope you enjoy it. You can make a donation. Uh, you can make a donation for the rest of this year if you'd like, but we would love to see a donation tonight so we can fill up that Empire State Building all the way to the top and make our goal. Okay, we're gonna do a poll now on what do you want for the future dinner dance theme? And we picked five of the ones that were mentioned in the chat. So go ahead and vote. Disco got a really quick lead. Now everything's pretty close, superheroes. Who doesn't love superheroes? Who doesn't love disco? Hair bands, I have to say, I'm not a big fan of hair bands. Uh, I can't get my hair up like that. It just doesn't stay. I can barely keep the curls in. All right, I'm going to end the poll in about 20 seconds. We've got a lot of great engagement here, so I think that's cool. It's really coming down to disco and superheroes. The 80s would be awesome. I mean, that was my time. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'm going to share the results here. And boy, look at that. Disco and superheroes, neck in neck. I like it. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to stop sharing this. Now uh, everyone will have to wait and see uh, what the theme is. I don't know when they generally announce it. I have I sit on the dinner dance committee now, so I should know. But I would guess sometime next summer we would have an announcement on what the theme is because I know there's a lot of you out there that like to really go all out on this. All right, look at this. We're climbing up that Empire State Building. I think it's the Empire State Building. Um, $31,000 just over that. And our goal again is 50,000. You have until 10 o'clock tonight again to uh, use those silent auction bids. And you can make a donation uh, as long as you would like and we will keep tallying it up and we appreciate it. I promise you. So we are, gosh, we're starting to wrap up. It's eight, almost 820. Um, I will tell you that when we figured that we were doing this virtual event like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, we didn't know if we would have more than a half an hour of content and we have put together great content. Uh, and I see Terry is ready in her party pod. Uh, she's we're going here. to announce, yay. <laughs> Are you guys? We wow, you guys look awesome. <laughs> Get over here. We wish we were in person. So we are really looking forward to getting together with everybody in 2021. Two. We need to thank Sky and Tony and Shannon for all of the work that they've done. You guys were here for some of the practices. You know, it is not as smooth <laughs> as you might think. They and amazing work to make us look so fabulous and professional when we really were just a bunch of families just trying to do the best place for our loved ones with down syndrome i'm here because i'm in charge of the raffle <laughs> there is twenty two thousand twenty five dollars what twenty two thousand twenty five dollars in the 50 50 oh, raffle what? so the winner is going to go walk away with over a thousand dollars I have it all queued up on a little wheel on my computer. So I'm going to share my screen. So all those little names, all those, all these bits around here, are all little names of, of the people who spent, you know, over $2,000 on these 50-50 raffle tickets. I'm going to click it. It's going to spin and the name is going to pop up. On your mark, get set, go. Let's see. Woohoo! Winner, 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 change the winner. Who is it? Karen Neville, we know Karen, that's amazing. Her daughter was featured in one of the videos, so we're really excited about mm -hmm. that. Um, oh, oh, yes, thank you, Jack. Says to hit close, you guys all, there's my, there's my- We're uh, good. Yeah, we're good, Sky. We're good, Sky, yes. 
So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I want to know how you get all your hair in that wig. <laughs> it's not a wig. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And congratulations, Karen Neville. I'm out of here. Sayonara. See you later. See you on August, uh, October 21st, 2022. Be there. Sounds good. I hear my husband coming up the stairs. He has something to tell me. Karen just redonated her time. Oh, Karen just redonated her winnings to Ups for Downs. Karen, Karen, Karen. Thank you, Karen. That's awesome. That's why we have this wonderful community because it's everyone's so supportive. And I cry at the drop of a hat. So that's making me tear up. <laughs> All right. So we are wrapping up. I want to say a big, big thank you to the Dinner Dance Committee. Um, they took a chance on going <laughs> with us last year to, for a virtual, and we had all summer to prepare, and it went really well. And um, this year, we just had, you know, a few weeks, and I think we pulled it off. So we're excited. And in my basement right now is Shannon O'Shaughnessy, a dear coworker of mine who has been acting as a, a producer and a director, and my husband, Tony, who's been right by her side. And obviously he was our bartender too. So thank you to everyone who helped us put this together. Again, thank you for everyone who put uh, sent us content, whether it was uh, your, your um, child doing the Charleston or whatever, which you're gonna see right now. So that, that's basically it, we're done. And we're gonna um, bow out, say goodbye, thank you, and leave you with this final Charleston video dance off. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you.